Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. So today is another China Glaze video and this time instead of looking at a specific collection from them or looking at my whole collection of China Glaze, I'm going to pick out some really core like favorites from China Glaze and there's actually nothing in here that's been released so far in 2016. So we're going to be going back last year or even like way years back. So these are some really great ones that have been released from China Glaze. Um, for the past few years and if you're looking for older china glaze polishes you can go to head to toe beauty.com they keep stuff on there from like forever back so that's a really great place to go to look for old gems from china glaze so i had so much fun picking these polishes i just got out all my china glaze on my computer all my images and i just was looking through them and as i always do whenever i make these collection videos or like my top picks videos as i just look starts you know going through them and then when one just goes <gasps> And then I just stick it over here to my to my gasp and awe color part of my computer or on my desktop. And then I just keep going through. And so these are all the ones that just make my blood just wake up. So I'm so excited to share with you, uh, share these with you. Of course, these are just my favorites. I'm not saying that these are the best China Glaze polishes ever that are out there. There are so many good China Glaze polishes, which is why they're my favorite brand. They may not be the longest wearing polish out there, but I change my polish up so fast. It's not really what I'm looking for. I love a brand that does really fun colors, really great um, colors with some depth and that you can really sink your teeth into. So these are all polishes like that. So we're going to go ahead and get into it before I forget to tell you on my lips is Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in Embrace Number no. 5. I can't believe I hadn't wore this yet, but yeah, I hadn't. So I pulled it out for today and uh, what's on my nails, we're going to get into it in a little bit. So I have all my polishes here in front of me in this little bin and instead of going through the rainbow today, I'm just going to start pulling them at random and then that'll be really fun. <laughs> I'm just going to go like this and pull one out. So first up we have a purple. Okay, so you're actually going to find there's quite a few purples in here more than anything else. The most in here are purples and greens I think. <laughs> but there's a lot you're going to be able to tell. These are definitely Phoebe kind of colors. Um, you know, I just, like I said, I just picked out the ones that just made me just really wake up. So, okay. First up, this one is so good. This is from the Giver Collection. This came out a couple summers ago. This is called Giver's Theme. It's just a nice deep grape. Oh, it's so pretty. It's it's like a it's like a basic grape with a little bit of depth in it. It just like takes it to the next level. I love this so 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 much. As you're gonna see, I'm just gonna be popping the picture up here as we go along. I'm not gonna do live swatching for you because there's just I think a few too many for us to do that. We're gonna just look at the pictures and move on. But like I said, anything you like here, write it down and go look at Head to Toe Beauty. I'm not affiliated with that website, but I really like shopping for um, collections that aren't exactly the most current because they keep them there for you. So I really enjoy that. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this one is oldie but a goodie. Um, this is China Glaze Turned Up Turquoise. This is so great. This does dry matte. It ha It's an awesome turquoise shade, as you can see, super duper bright there. And it has some shimmer going throughout it. So just love this. So, so beautiful. Definitely recommend. Okay, this next one up is the only red I'm going to share with you today. I have a few pinks that are kind of going towards red, but this is the only true red, and I just wanted to pick out my favorite red. So I put all my reds up on my computer, and the one that is just like my favorite tone of red, I like a lot of China Glaze reds, but this one was my favorite, and this one is a little bit of a Crelly formula. There's something about a Crelly red that just feels so just sexy and it just wears on the nail so well. I just like it so much. But this color, this is red satin from China Glaze for me. This is just the red that I just, oof, it, I just, my eye went right to it. It has a little bit, just a little bit of coolness in it. I just, I love this so much. So I could have showed you probably like five or six reds, but this is the one I picked out. All right, another green polish for you today. This one is called Agro, and this comes from the um, Hunger Games collection. What a good collection that was. It had so many interesting polishes in it. This is, as you can see, kind of a silvered yellow green. It's like an army green, but there's a little bit of yellow in it, and it's kind of, it's metallic for sure. This is so, so cool. I just really enjoyed this one, and I've been in love with this for a while. When I was looking through all my greens, I just knew I had to feature this one today. Just love it. I haven't worn it in a while though. I need to get this sucker on my nails. Okay, so not last fall, but the fall before that, um, right after the Giver's collection came out, the Giver um, from the movie The Giver, this collection came out and it was um, train themed. And they had some really cool polishes in that collection. This one's called Choo Choo Choose You. 
And when you look at the bottle, you see purple, green, and gold in there. It's so cool. I love this on the nail. It's technically, I guess, a purple if you want to give it a spot, but it goes between purple and green. Just beautiful. Totally recommend. Okay, now we're going to talk about the polish that's on my nails. This is just, uh, I love this kind of shade so much. It's like a, it's like a burgundy mixed with purple because it's definitely, I don't know, it's, it's livelier than a burgundy. And this has a lot of um, shimmer in it and actually some very small flakies. This is called Nice Caboose. It comes from the same collection as Choo Choo Choose You. And I just love this so much. It's so vibrant on the nail just, while still being dark and sexy. Love, love, love. Okay, pretty much my favorite polish of all time. Um, yeah, it's just, if I could paint my body in a color, this would be it. If I could have a hair color, this would be it. I mean, I just, I just love, I'm obsessed with this polish. It's so nice and vibrant on the nail and shiny and just gorgeous. This is called Boho Blues. I've talked about this lots of times. I couldn't make a China Glaze Favorites collection without including this. I'm obsessed with this polish. If you haven't tried it and you want to pick up just at least one polish from this, video, pick up this one. I mean, I know you've heard me talk about this before. Pick it up. Alright, the next polish um, comes from Last Fall's uh, China Glaze Fall Collection and it is called Pondering. This is so beautiful. It is a multi-chrome. It goes between green, purple, and I want to say blue. I see blue in there too. This is really, really great. I love this over a dark base. I really uh, feel like it makes it shine even better. I recommend that. That fall collection was really amazing too. I tend to really like China Glaze's fall collections even more than their summer and spring. Something about China Glaze Falls just hits it right on the nose for me, so I totally recommend this. Speaking about a spring collection, this is from a few years ago. This is China Glaze Lotus Begin. I love this so much. This collection that this came from, they were kind of doing like these chalky pastels. This has got to be shaken up a little bit because it is a little bit older, but it's still so, so good. This is just a chalky pastel purple, but still very, very bright on the nail. Oh, this is so gorgeous. I only have a few like really light colors to show you today, and I totally recommend, please pick this one up. All right, next up, um, another just really, really gorgeous light polish. This actually came from the same collection as the one we were just talking about, and this is Fade Into Hue. And this is, I mean, obviously not the same, but kind of in the same kind of idea, like a light pastel, but still vibrant. But this one's not quite as vibrant as the purple. This one is a little bit dustier. It has some more gray in it. I just, I'm obsessed with this kind of shade too. I mean, as you can see, it's very similar to Boho Blues, but it's like the gray version of Boho Blues. They took Boho Blues and put some gray in it, and they came out with Fade Into Hue. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a little too excited. I'm banging my polishes around. I love this, you guys, so, so, so much. So, yeah, let's move along. All right, so this next polish is one of my pinks that I want to share with you today, and it's definitely pink moving towards red. This is just hot. This is on fire. I love this so much. I do have an alternative for you for this polish, though, in case you don't like texture. This is heavily textured, and it is one of these polishes that isn't going to look very textured if you put a top coat on it. This is, like, very, very textured, but I love it, and I love the color of this. This is a color of pink that I can just really get behind. So this is called Bump and Grind, and yeah, I love this. I love how it looks, but I love texture polishes. So if you don't love texture polishes, a color that is very similar to this, but extra special for its own separate reasons. So like I would feature these both um, in this collection anyway, but they are they are actually very similar. So I wanted to point that out in case you really like the texture one I just showed you and you don't like texture. I mean, you really like the color, but you don't like texture. This is China Glaze Strawberry Fields. This is a little bit of an older one. It's so, so good though. It's a nice, bright, punchy pink red, but it has awesome gold shimmer going all throughout it. This is just so, so amazing. Definitely my favorite pink from China Glaze ever. Um, I mean, I don't care for pinks that much, but honestly, when I was looking through my pinks from China Glaze, and I have a lot of them, they do great with pink. So if you're a pink lover, there are so many good ones out there. Um, but this one is my favorite. So must, must, must have. I love it so much. All right, so next up is another green. I love this so much. It's another thing that is slightly cool toned. So I think that, I mean, I, I don't think. I know that that's a theme with the polishes that I really, really love. I love them to have a little bit of coolness. This came from the On Safari Fall 2012 collection. It's called Exotic Encounters. 
it's just to die for. It's like a deep forest green, but they added some grayness and they added a little bit of blue. So right up my alley, I totally recommend. Okay, now I have a neutral for you and this one is really, really spectacular from the, um, from the Desert Escape 2015 collection. This is that awesome kind of rosy copper brown <laughs> metallic. This is really spectacular, one coater. I mean, this just really looks so great on the nail. And this had perfect timing. This came out when all of the um, the body tattoos were the, they are in rose gold and regular gold and silver, just the high metallic, that's what I'm looking for. The metallic body tattoos were so popular and this came out and it just looks exactly like this. It looks like you're wearing that on your nails. I love this one. All right, so we're gonna look at a yellow. I only stuck one yellow in here. I, I like yellows a lot, but um, unfortunately, there's not a lot of yellow from China Glaze line that I'm just like, I go crazy for. This one though, I think is special enough to feature. And this is, it's like a very sunflower yellow. Um, and this actually, unfortunately, doesn't get like super fully opaque at two coats, which is the only bummer about this. But it has some really great shimmer going all throughout it. And so, I just, I really love this one. If I could choose, I would make it just a little bit more opaque so that I could get like fully, just like, I would be obsessed, fully obsessed with this polish if it was slightly more opaque. But I love that it has that kind of orangey pink shimmer going through it. It makes it so special. Okay, so we have three more polishes to look at. I have another neutral for you. And this one, I guess you could argue that I put another purple in here because <laughs> You can see, I mean, I can see the purple separating out of this bottle. This comes from the Giver collection. But there were a lot of great neutrals in that collection. This one is the one that's like the purpliest gray. And this one's called Release. This just looks, this on the nail to me, it just slays me. I mean, it just looks so, so gorgeous. Oh, I, I fully recommend like that entire Giver, Giver collection. Just, I really recommend this one. So love that I mean they have there's the capacity to see beyond in there there's the givers theme I already showed you and then lots and lots of nudes like gray nudes like are like a if they have a lot of like light off whites with just a little pinch of color in them but anyway this is this is actually a full-on gray purple so yeah release super duper love okay so um, we just have two left here oh my goodness this one is so so good it comes from um, this last year's Christmas collection and this is Don't Get Elfed Up, and this, ugh, oh, this is so gorgeous. This is a shimmering polish that goes between like a deep teal to a purple, fuchsia purple. This is so, so, so gorgeous. Um, definitely recommend. Get your hands on this baby if you can. And then last up, this is no, not in any particular order, but I do love this one so much. This is China Glaze Fancy Pants. Another purple, but this time it's super vibrant and bright with a lot of pink shimmer going all throughout. I love this one. It is so beautiful. This would never get old for me. I could wear this almost every day. Almost as often as I could wear Bobo Blues. This is another definite favorite for me. So, what was that? We looked at... Um, but seriously, guys, I, lo I'm, I love trying to glaze. I could have made this twice as long. I tried to not... Stick too many in here though, I mean it can't be completely all inclusive, that's what that other video is about. Where you go look at all of my China Glaze. If you really want to see everything I have, go look at that video. Um, it is in my Polish Collections playlist. playlist. Um, but yeah, these are just some really core, like really some of my favorites. So head over to Head to Toe Beauty, pick some of them up, you won't regret it. I highly recommend all of them. I think that's it. Make sure you leave in the comments, let everybody else know what your favorite China Glaze polish is. Obviously, I didn't talk about all of them, so I'm sure there are some really good ones that I missed. Leave it in the comments below if you want everybody to know what your favorites are. And I think that's it. Have a really great day, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I will see you back later. Bye. And then as I go and read the comments throughout the week, I just love to hear what you guys are wearing on your nails. Always tell me in the comments below because I love to hear what you guys are wearing and loving. Um, and yeah, it's just our girl time together. So I'm so, so excited always every single Saturday. I'm wearing my blue shirt today. This is my favorite blue shirt. This is how I do me.